I think Kai's strengths are, uh, number one, he is a beast. Chipped over the top. Brandon in the net, Columbus has taken the lead. Dynamic, athletic, uh, a freak. Camaro settles, left-footed shot. He plays with all-out abandon. Kai Camaro and Columbus have the lead. Kai Camaro, Major League Soccer's leading goal scorer, make it number 13. He goes out there and he's having fun. I didn't know anything about Kai's backstory, and when you start to understand how it has fueled him, it makes it that much more special. I grew up in the in a loving family, really, really big family. I was just six years old. You know, my mom went to the U.S. and left me with her older sister. She had a good way to provide for us, so be able to even bring me to the U.S. so I can join her because I'm her only child. But my auntie raised me up as you know her own child, and I grew up with all her kids, and they were my brothers and sisters. Growing up there, I was just, you know, one happy kid. And then um, things started getting really bad. He heard an explosion outside of school. I just decided to run home, just get out. Then I remember I forgot my uh, brothers and sisters. And so I had to turn back around, running through the rest of the kids, running this way, trying to go back and go find them. And they were actually still waiting there for me. I still have nightmares because of the war. It's always a war. It's always a war. And I'm trying to find my way to get out. I'm trying to find my way to get out. When you're really young, growing up in the Civil War, you, you kind of don't have much of an option when the rebels come in by town trying to pick up, you know, young boys to go join them. One of our younger brothers, when the rebels came in, they picked him up. So he was going with our other cousin, who was a girl. She was going and decided, no, I don't want to go. My family is back there. And they said, okay, fine, go to your family. And she turned around and uh, yeah, that was it for her. One day we're laying on the ground and then a bullet struck the window in the wall just above us. And then you can hear people talking outside. So you're thinking, are we ever gonna make it out of this? Right there was when it hit me that maybe I could never see my mom again. We had to find a way to get out of Sierra Leone and we just kind of left everything behind. My whole family, I mean, everything. And uh, we got on the boat to the Gambia. You can see the water coming into the boat. So I'm down in the bottom and thinking, are we gonna make it across? When we made it across to the Gambia, we we're part of a refugee program. We we're waiting for our names to be called to be able to you know, travel to the US. It was about a year and a half, two years, being there, going to school there in Gambia, feeling like actually we, we're gonna live here now. And finally, our names were called from the US Embassy. It was our time to move to, you know, the U.S. We got to Maryland during the, the winter, and uh, so everything was going to be different. I still was not with my mom. You know, I was staying with my mom's older brother because my mom was really busy, and she felt like if I stay in Maryland, you know, it would be good for me to focus in my schooling. Kids were really, really picking on me a lot for my exit you know, pronouncing three as tree and stuff like that. And it was just like, and I stuttered a lot. Teachers say you have to read in class and I'll just be sweating. After a while, we decided I was gonna move to Los Angeles to join my mom. But it was a bit different. I was 17, we were two different people. I had to stay busy instead of getting into trouble because I was somebody with a short temper. I decided I want to go try out for the local soccer team. They never made fun of me. They just accepted me and just, you know, put me in, into the team and we're all together. 
I believe in the family that you can have in the, on the soccer team. It's really a family you can carry on for a while. The ninth pick of the first round of the 2006 MLS Super Draft, the Columbus Crew select forward Kai Kamara. The first time around in Columbus was it wasn't so nice for me, you know. Kai Kamara fires and off target. The first year. I think I might have scored three goals. And uh, second year, I think two goals. I thought I knew everything coming from college and scoring 15, 16 goals and didn't work out that way. So obviously that's why the first time around was really tough. I asked for a trade in Columbus. It was a tough ride going through San Jose and Houston. I wanted to come back to some team in LA so I can go home and be close to my mom. Kansas City, it was definitely not a place I ever wanted to be. But uh, from the first day I stepped in there, I met a girl. She didn't know me at all, but she was just there watching training and screaming and saying, I'm gonna be your number one fan. And I grew up in Sierra Leone where everybody, you know, accepts each other really. And so that made me feel at home. And. Uh, when I feel at home, when I feel as a family, I'm at my best. I made my name in Kansas City. I uh, made my career in Kansas City. Everything was just perfect. I owe everything in my career, I owe everything to Sierra Leone. It's not just my birthplace, it's home. I get to play in front of my family and they get to see me. So that's how I chose uh, to play for Sierra Leone instead of the US. To play on Sierra Leone's national team, you basically have to become a street legend. You have to prove yourself on the streets before you can be a national team. I had to go to Sierra Leone and play pickup games. We have to go into different neighborhoods and play games. And then people start talking about you. And then the fans put pressure on whoever the coaching staff is, say, let's look at this player. Playing in Sierra Leone, it's different. It's something that you, you wouldn't experience anywhere else. The fans, I mean, they love the sport so, so bad. And they love the country so bad. They push you so hard. The one reason why I wanted to play in the Premier League was for Sierra Leone, because people just can't stop saying, we just want to see you play in the Premier League. Moving to England, playing in the Premier League, was, it was a dream. Welcome to the locker room. Don't say that. Welcome to the dressing room. The guys were welcoming. That just made me feel at home. My corner. <laughs> I'm the one that's usually breaking. Alex, tell me next time, man. Come on, man. No, you knew about this, man. I was like, oh, this is a place where I, I'm definitely going to feel good. They have uh, high hopes for the signing from Sporting Kansas City in the MLS. Can he adapt to the rigors of the Premier League? Right after I took that first step on the field and took my first touch, I just said, that's it, that's gone. It's all about playing now. Kamara, he's going to have a go. Well, what an introduction that would have been. You're looking for a spark, and they've certainly got one with Kamara. He's an infectious player, a player that plays with a, a lot of enthusiasm, and um, we was quite sure that he could add something different to us. Waiting to take it. Better delivery! Oh, it's the equaliser! And it's Kai Kamara who scored it! An incredible story! He has arrived in the Premier League! The goal I scored in Norwich, it's something I'm never gonna forget. I was the first Sierra Leonean to score in the Premier League. I know how much it meant to the fans out there. I had an option for Norwich to buy me from the MLS, which didn't end up happening because they weren't safe. My agent asked me, would you like to go back to England and told me about Middlesbrough and it's a big name. And they made it happen the next day. 
I went there and things started moving really fast with the coaching staff leaving and all this and I, then I injured my knee. I never really got settled so that's when I decided that you know maybe it's best we go our separate ways. There's all these options for me to go play in other countries and other leagues but I don't want to bounce around in different places. At the prime of my career I wanted to come back and really be part of something. I have something to prove. Other players are flourishing around him, and that's what also makes him special. Columbus is a lot better this time. I know, maybe because I'm 30. <laughs> First time across goal, what a goal! So it's definitely home. It's home for me, it's home for my, you know, my family. Everybody said I haven't had a season like this ever in my career. It's our first All-Star game, right? We're going to enjoy it, man. I've been blessed to have the opportunity where I am today because of soccer. Now it's time for me to give back. That's why I'm working with Michael LaHood of the Philadelphia Union to build a school in Sierra Leone. We see the opportunities that everybody has in America. Those are the things we want the kids in Sierra Leone to have. If I can finish my career, and maybe I didn't win any championships, but I helped build a school in Sierra Leone, my career will be successful.